Hello and welcome to our channel. If you're a returning subscriber, a special welcome back. Today we'll show you the beautiful Dean village, which we actually stumbled across here on YouTube when we planned our trip to Scotland. We'll show you some of the scenery in this village and share some tips that we thought you might find useful for your planning, including how to get there, what it costs, when is the best time to go and how long you can expect to spend there. Despite its very small size, this village is a must-see if you share the appreciation for beautiful old buildings in a setting that looks like a movie set. First things first, as the self-appointed minister of our travel finances, the most important thing for me to know is what will it cost? And you'll be happy to know that it's absolutely free. This is a normal village where people live and go about their everyday lives. It's not fenced or ticketed in any way, which means you can literally just turn up. Naturally, Scotland enjoys sunshine on occasion and snow. So depending on the season that you go and you might have a very different experience. We visited in early December and we missed the snow by 12 hours when we left. So it was really wet, it was really quite cold, but we didn't have any trouble walking around the village. In terms of time of day, since this was December, sunrise was much later than it would be in summer, but I personally prefer visiting at sunrise or sunset to get a beautiful effect on all the old buildings for taking some pictures and videos. There are various ways to get there, obviously, depending on which side of the city you stay. This is my Strava map that I recorded on my watch, our walk. We stayed here on Northumberland Street in a home exchange, so we followed a walk um, through that park to the Water of Leith walkway. It's a beautiful walk towards Dean Gardens next to the river, and I really recommend that you do it. I'll also put a link at the end of this video if you want to take the walk. Um, and see what that looks like. If you want to go down Princess Street, it's a very famous street, lots of shops there, it's famous for shopping, a few good restaurants as well. Um, this here is the Waverley Station, Princess Street Gardens, here's the Edinburgh Castle, so if you walk down Princess Street and you take a right, you'll also reach Dean Village at this end. It's worth noting that a lot of the open top, hop on, hop off tourist bus types come down Princess Street and take a left down here. So check with your tour operator what number your stop is and get off there if you don't want to make the whole walk um, down Princess Street. It's quite a long street and then you'll be closer to get off at Dean Village as well. I've put in a 15% discount code in the description below um, that you can use to buy tickets to Edinburgh Castle or any of the attractions but especially also for the open top buses. I don't see you needing any more than an hour, maybe two, depending on you know if you want to pause and look at all the buildings and maybe take some photos and videos. It is a small village, but it really is worth pausing at the old buildings for some beautiful photos, and especially just to allow yourself to wander about and get lost and see what you see. You can easily couple this with other trips like the Edinburgh Castle, for example, where I recommend you set aside at least four hours for a visit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy your time in Dean Village. If there's anything we missed out on, please let us know in the comments or if you can share any tips with anyone else who's planning to go there, please drop them in the comments as well. Until next time, happy traveling and be a good guest wherever you're welcomed.